Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another What's For Dinner video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but I do provide the points for all three programs on my channel, and I also give calories as well. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I make sous vide steak. If you are not familiar with sous vide, it basically is a French term meaning under vacuum. I actually have a sous vide option on my Instant Pot. The Instant Pot I have is the Duo Crisp with air fryer and it has a sous vide function. It is so easy. What this does is allows you to cook meat in a vacuum sealed bag. My understanding is you can use just like um, Ziploc bags too. You cook it in a vacuum sealed bag in water and you set the temperature that you want. So like if you want medium, then you set it to whatever temperature you want for medium. And depending on the thickness of your steak, it could take one and a half to two hours. So it does take a little bit of time but it doesn't overcook. So in other words, when I cook mine, I cook it for one and a half hours, but I actually have an extra window. So it's gonna be done at one and a half hours, but I can still leave it there until three hours. I can leave it sitting there. It's not gonna overcook because it's not gonna allow it to get more than that internal temperature of whatever I set it to. So I usually set mine to about 140. We like our steak medium. And then the amount of time that you use to cook it depends on how thick your steaks are. So if you have like an inch to an inch and a half, those usually take about an hour and a half. Or if you have something more than that, then you're looking at two hours or more. So just keep, in, keep that in mind. So when you're new to sous vide cooking, you do have to play around with the time a little bit. I am fairly new. I've only done it a couple times but both times they turned out great I did steak one time and I did pork chops one time the greatest thing about this is it doesn't lose its volume so when you cook steaks like on a grill or you know you pan sear them it loses a lot of its volume these steaks keep their volume they keep the thickness and they cook all the way through so like if I want medium when we cook steaks like on the stove it's really hard to get that medium all the way through usually the top is a little bit cooked more and then you got medium in the middle and then the bottom is cooked more this from top to bottom is the same it's the same it's medium all the way through and also the best thing about it is it doesn't lose its juices because it's in the bag and it's cooking in that in that sealed bag it's cooking in its own juices so it's not losing any of the juices while it cooks so it is really good now one thing you can do is you can put your seasonings in the bag before you do it I'm not gonna be doing that you're gonna see I'm just gonna take mine and put it right in the instant pot and then I will season mine after I don't put a lot of seasonings on my steak usually just some salt and pepper maybe a little bit of garlic but that's it so I'm not gonna be putting season, but you could certainly season your steaks. You can put you know, salt and pepper right in there. If you're using the vacuum bags or just a Ziploc bag, just put the spices right in there. If you've got some fresh herbs you wanna stick in there, you can do that as well. So then what I'm gonna do when it's done, I'm gonna take it out and put it in a cast iron pan and give it a real nice sear to it. I already have my steaks already portioned out in vacuum sealed bags. Basically when I buy them, I portion them that way. So then all I had to do was take it from the freezer. I put it in my fridge and then I'm gonna be throwing it in the Instant Pot. My understanding is that you can actually take these right from the freezer to the Instant Pot to do the sous vide cooking. I've never done them that way though. I always start with the meat thawed out. So let's head to the kitchen. Okay, so this is the Instant Pot that I have. It's the Instant Pot Duo Crisp and Air Fryer, which has a sous vide button. So first thing I'm gonna do is take the top off and fill the insert with water. So there is a max line on here, so you don't wanna go above the max line. So I usually go to the mark on there that says half. That way, once I put the steak in, it won't go above that max line. So just set that in there and then these are the steaks I'm using I have these in vacuum seal bags if you're using more than one you want to make sure that you separate them because you don't want them touching when they're cooking so this is the bags my understanding is you can use regular gallon Ziploc bags as well but this is what I'm using these steaks are the petite sirloins from Aldi these ones are about I'd say maybe about an inch thick 
I would prefer like an inch and a half, but these will work. So for this thickness, it's probably gonna be an hour and a half to cook them. If you have them thicker than that, then they would take longer. So all we're gonna do is just stick those right down in the water. Make sure they're not like folded over top of each other. We want them separated. Put the top on it. Okay, so once the steak is in the Instant Pot, the only thing we have to do is set the time and the temperature. The temperature is gonna be based on the way that you like your meat. So depending if you like it medium rare, medium, well done. Well done is 160. I think medium rare is like 135. So we like ours a little bit over medium. So when I made it last time, I did it at 142 and it was pretty good that way. So I'm gonna do mine for an hour and 30 minutes at 142 degrees. So just hit start. So now we just let it go. So I'll come back when it's done. All right, one thing I forgot to mention is the amount of time that this takes to come up to, I don't know if you call it pressure. So if you use an Instant Pot normally, you know that when you do the pressure cooking, it takes, you know, sometimes a good 10, 15 minutes to get it up to pressure. With the sous vide cooking, it takes even longer. So I started this two hours ago and it still has 15 minutes. So it took about 45 minutes to come up to temperature. So with sous vide, what it does is it has to wait until it comes up to temperature and then it cooks for that hour and a half. But the good thing is you, you can always start this early. So like I said, once this gets down to 15 minutes, I can let it sit there for another hour or so, hour, hour and a half, and it's not gonna overcook. So just something to keep in mind, this did take about 45 minutes to come up to temperature before it started counting down. All right, so Instant Pot just went off. It is showing end. So I have my cast iron heating up want to get this real hot. I'm going to use some canola oil rather than olive oil. Usually when I'm cooking, I always use olive oil, but olive oil doesn't have that high heat point or whatever you call it. So I use canola oil. Canola oil. So I'm just going to put, actually got a little bit too much. So now I'm just gonna cut them open and get them in the pan. And I'm only gonna be putting them in the pan for about 30 seconds on each side. Salt, some pepper, and then if you wanna just add a little bit of garlic powder. And then those are going right in the pan. I'm gonna let them sit about 30 seconds and then flip them. So let me get everything plated and then I'll show you what it looks like when we cut into it. All right, so this is my plate. I have three points worth of crinkle cut French fries, which is 120 calories. It's three ounces. I have some Brussels sprouts for zero. I may put one point worth of cheese on there. And then the steak, I'm gonna weigh out. I'm gonna have four ounces, which is six points. So now we're gonna cut into it. And there you go, a little over medium. But as you can see, it's all the way through. Hopefully that lighting is good. So that's what it looks like. So now to taste it. Mmm, that is good. Tender. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like. Let me know in the comments if you've tried sous vide cooking before or if it's even something that interests you. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.